What's up guys? Learning with Rich here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create or how to use appearance profiler and then the other one appearance templates. Okay? So from our previous video, so I have shown you how to use your find objects and then the other one is search sets. So if I'm going to click the search sets here, so it will show you the search sets that I have created. So let's say just a review. I'm going to create a search set for my structural column. Okay, so before that, I'm going to select here create folder. So let me click that one and then let me put the name here is structural and then I'll just select OK. All right, so let me just hide that one. So what I want to do is I want to select all these structural elements that I have here, this one. Okay, so I'm going to click this one because I want to check out what is the property that I can use for me to be able to select it using my search object. Okay, so to do that, so let us turn on the property here. So I select this one and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the other here, the other category and then use the category. I'll search for structural columns. Okay, so we are going to search that one. So we will be using this tool, find objects. And then I'm going to, okay, so let's say for example, you don't have this yet. So I'm going to clean up that one. Okay, so this is the start from scratch finding object. So the first thing that you need to do is to select condition. So add condition. And then you just select here property condition. So these are the uh, these are the properties that we'll be using other category and then this is the name. So we want to select all the structural columns. So this is just one of the one of some a uh, couple of ways for you to be able to select all the structural columns. So there are other ways. Okay, you can check out my previous video. Okay, but for this one, so what I'm gonna do is for for my uh, property condition, I'm going to select your other because this one is other and then for the property here I'm going to select your category so as you can see other category that is equal to what guess what structural column so I'm going to click this one and then I'll type structural column and then click that then click outside so if you have structural foundation or other structural elements, you can include that to this selection here. You can select multiple items here. Okay, so after that, so you can now select here, find all. Okay, so there, by default, elements only here is checked by default. And then if you select find all, there are some instances or most of the time, it doesn't select all the uh, structural columns elements okay so it only select elements only but you can notice yeah, you will notice here that I only have 131 but if I'm going to uncheck this one and then find all again so you will notice it will increase to 262 uh, items okay that has the other category that equals to structural column so for me I always uncheck the elements only here so I can select all of the elements that I would like to select under these properties so after it is selected like this one it's now highlighted so I'm going to select now this one and then save as new search set okay so you always select find all to check out if your search set is working so if it is working just fine you can now save it save as new search set so you click that and then you can put the name here so let's say this is my uh, structural column and then let's put that under structural and then okay and there you go okay this is just a review so I have another video of this check out my previous video on how to use your uh, find objects and search sets which is this one now let us use our appearance profiler so how do you want your elements to look like so like for example this one so my model here looks like this so let's say you want to change you want to highlight here your uh, structural and then your 
mechanical. Okay? And then for your architectural, you want that to be transparent. So how do you do that? So what you do is you apply or you create appearance profiler. So let's check this one out, how to use. So let's click this. So this is your appearance profiler, right? So let me just clear all this one. Okay, so it's now clear. So let us add here. So search set is a must. For me, on my workflow, search sets is a must if you are going to use appearance profiler. So that's why it's always good to set up your search sets, okay? Before you use the appearance profiler. Well, for me, that's my workflow. I don't know others how they do their appearance profiler, but this is my workflow. So I always set up my search sets before I do the profiler, the appearance profiler. So let's say this is now my uh, search set. So let me set up my appearance profiler. So let me select add rule, and then I'm going to select your search set. So I want to add here my walls. I think you can select multiple elements here. Hold control like that. Select. There you go. So it's now all selected, right? So there's my walls, exhaust air, return air, supply air, and structural columns. So what I want to do, I want my walls, my, my architectural to be transparent. So you can click this one, select operation. You can click the drop down. You can see different options here. And one of the options here is transparency. So you can click transparency here, and then you can make it, let's say, 50% uh, transparency. So let's click that one. And then what I want is, I also want my architectural elements to be colored white. So for me to be able to do that, I'm going to click again, drop down arrow, and then, no, not that one. There's a duplicate here. <laughs> Settings, you can duplicate that. There you go. So it's now duplicated here. So I'm going to change this one for transparent, for color, sorry, color. And then I want that to be white. How to select white? Is it like this? And then I'll just select here, okay. There you go. Now for my mechanical here, for my exhaust air, return air, and then supply air, I'm just going to change all of, all of the color of this. So let's say for my mechanical, uh, I want that to be, let's say, bluish. Just like that. And then OK. Same with my return air. I just want the same color. So that's the recent color. Same with my supply, and then OK. Now for the structural column, so let's click the drop down here. Let's change the color. Uh, I want that to be something like this, and then OK. And there you go. So this is now my appearance profiler. So let me apply this, and you will now see what will happen, right? OK, so what is this? So this one is... Uh, roof okay so this one is roof or I mean floor so I also want my floor to be part of my architectural okay so I'm going to add my floor to the architectural so to do that so again I'll be using this other category floors okay so let's use the search here find object so let's clear this one. Actually, I don't need to clear that one. Anyway, I already selected category. So let's type here floor. Floors. Click outside. Okay, so find all. Okay, so the floor now is selected. And then I'll be saving that. Save as new search set. Let's call this floor, floors, put it inside the architectural folder, and then OK, and there's your floors. 
Okay, so let me now close the find objects. So I want to include the floor here. So I'm going to click this. No, I'm going to add rule first. Add rule, search set. So let's add the floor, select. So there's the floor. So I also want that to be colored white. And I want that to be duplicated for the transparency of let's say 75% for my architectural 75% and then let me apply let's see how it looks like there you go okay so this is now my appearance profiler now let's say I want these settings so i want now these settings so what i'm gonna do here is i'm now going to save this to create the template so let's click this and then save a new appearance template so click that one and then let's put here so i'm gonna put here uh struct structural and uh mechanical there you go and then okay so i'm gonna close this one i'm gonna close this one and then let's check out my appearance template and there's now my appearance template so let me delete this one i don't need that overall okay so if i'm gonna click this one you will notice there's the appearance profile appearance profile of the return this one now for the mechanical and structural let me click this one and there you go okay so that's how you use your uh, appearance templates and appearance profiler okay so again just make sure that you already have set up your uh, search sets so that it will gonna be easy for you to create your appearance profiler like this and save it as your appearance templates here okay so that's it for this uh, simple exercise so hopefully you learned something from this video if you have any comments questions or suggestions you can put it on the comment section below and i'll get back to you as soon as i can thank you for watching have a nice day